know that influence and manipulation use the same techniques. What makes the difference is the intent. In influencing, we are trying to get somebody to do something which is good for us and good for them, good for the company. In manipulation, we are trying to do something which is good for us and not good for the other party. Then what do you do to spot a manipulator? My name is Giuseppe Conti, I'm a business school professor and the founder of Conti Advanced Business Learning, a company that specializes in negotiation and influencing. Let me share with you four ideas that can help you to spot a manipulator. Number one, sense of urgency. The typical example, you may get a phone call. Listen, we have a 50% off for the telephone subscription and this special offer expires today. Second idea, ignoring your negative reply. All self-training encourage a good level of persistence. Still, when you get a firm negative reply, then you're supposed to stop. If the counterpart does not stop and continue to insist, you're probably dealing with a manipulator that doesn't care much about your own interest. Third idea, exclusivity. Our ego is flattered by exclusive opportunities. Or you can have your own Wikipedia page, or maybe be part of the special country club, or get a platinum credit card. Flattery works on us more than we are willing to admit. Just be careful whenever you're going for this exclusive offer. Fourth idea, alternating kindness and cruelty. This is a classic in interpersonal relationship, like even Katy Perry mentioned in her classic song, Hot and Cold. So we are dealing with somebody that keeps changing the behavior, and then, you know, we ended up accepting this kind of behavior and then getting trapped in abusive relationships. Now, here you have four ideas. It's not comprehensive of all the possible manipulation tools available out there, but hopefully it can help you to be on guard on those kind of situations. And for more insight on negotiation and influencing, check our website, www.cabl.th. Thank you.